up everybody, this is Scripty Coding here, welcome back to another game development video. In this video, we, you guys will learn about how to create your own dialog system, okay? So let me show you how it will look like. So if I run the game here, and if I hit E here, oh no, and as you can see, that's the basic dialog system. Now I will create the dialogue system where you interact with the NPC and the NPC does something, then he like talks <clears throat> in the later video. But for now, I'm going to show you how you guys can uh, make that. So, first of all, let me start from the very beginning and show you how I did it. Let's go to our folder where your project is in. So, for example, it's in here. In here, there, as you can see, there is a one new folder. First of all, create a new folder called add-ons. So you create a new folder called add-ons. Now, in here, you should have nothing. We'll go inside the folder. We'll just a CMD in this command prompt and window, as you can see. It opens up the CMD here. Now, there is two ways you can download and install from GitHub. So if you don't know what is a GitHub, just follow me. So uh, this is how to use how you like. So we'll first go to the this thing. We'll just copy up this link. And if you don't have Git installed, you have to install Git. The link will be in the description. You download that the GitHub, the Git CLI. So we'll say Git clone and then paste the link. So if you are not downloading the the get CLI you're just gonna click on here click on download a zip file so you'll you'll just cut the zip file and right click extract it to get this thing so we'll ins go to inside folder go to the add-ons folder now we'll just copy copy this thing up copy this thing up and then go and paste it remember to paste it on here not inside of is of some folder okay you just need to paste over here i'll just delete that <clears throat> i have a lot of folders here just let me move everything up so let it happen it's thing inside okay whatever so as you can see we have a folder called smart now we'll go back we have to enable our script so we'll go back here we'll go to project, project settings, and in the plugins folder, you should have a smart. You should have something that looks like this, right? This. And if we go activate, as you can see, it activates. And if you notice, there's something called smart editor. We will look at it later. So, first, let me show you from scratch. So, go to the world plus add a node. Uh, let's say it's a node 2D or node. It's a node 2D. We'll rename this node to dialog. Now dialog, we're just gonna say here, here. So now we'll add a canvas layer. Canvas layer. layer. And inside the canvas layer, we'll add a SMRT dialog box. As you can see, this is a dialog box we're talking about. Now, now what you need to do is just gonna you know, first of all hide it so it looks like this. You just say clear, uh, just say clear, just say clear here. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So um, we are basically uh like the midway through it. Now we need to go to the smart editor. Now this is our editor right over here. So this is cancel here and just over like this. Now, as you can see, this is our smart editor. Now, if you look at the layout, it's been developed it's for developing like for good old two, and now it's been like redesigned for good old three. As you can see, the UI looks kind of like good old ish, good old two ish. Now we'll just say new, and we have to save it somewhere. So I have a new folder. So first of all, create a folder called dialog. You go inside it, and we'll just go and say dial 2 so i have dial 1 you said dial or something and to save now and as you can see if it says file saves successfully you'll add a first chapter we'll add a chapter called intro 
Now, what is a chapter? A chapter is basically a serial of dialogues that it, it's been played. So, for example, if someone comes, uh, the NPC for the first time, like if the player comes to the NPC for the first time, it will play like the dialogue one. And if it comes, like do so, does some things and then comes back to the NPC, it will play something else. This is what's known as different dialogue systems. And in dialogue, we can have some messages. We'll first, as you can see, the frame position, we'll say bottom, from the frame position bottom, and we'll add a new dialogue here. We'll click on the chapter, as you can see, the new dialogue pops up. And if you click on the new dialogue, it'll just say new text. So we'll just say in a dialogue, and we'll just say, this is a lady, by the way. So we'll say lady, okay. And in the side, we'll add the, our text. So for say, hey, what's up? Uh, just say, what is going on? If you want to add more text, you'll say next, and then we'll write in your text. You, what are you doing in the forest? So as you can see, we will say, oh, I'm too long. Forest. So we have this. We'll say tap title on. You can add a uh, this text a second a letter per second. You can add that or you can like load this thing if you want. And there is a question panel. We'll cover that in a later video. Uh, for now, we'll just say close. No, no, no. Don't don't click on close. Wow. We'll say save. Make sure to click on save. Save. And now we are basically done. Now, how to tell the uh, the dialogue player to play the specific dialogue? We'll click on the nine patch rect. You can call it. You have to call it. It's okay. Yeah. Just rename this to dialogue. I I know I spelled that wrong or right. I don't know. We'll now go in the language tab. This is really important, so be careful. In the language tab, click on this, and we'll go back to we'll go to the folder where our uh, land file is located. So it's in the dialogue folder, so it's the dialogue, and it's a dial 2 dublin and then say, okay, if I now run the script, I hopefully will see, if I say, key. Now, as you can see, now you, you, you see, what the heck, how that happened, how that, if we, if I click E, what's, what's the deal, why it's like showing up? So it's because of the script. So we'll just go to specific script. So as you can see, there's a new called dialogue, and I'm checking UI dial. Now, UI dial is just a key. It's been bind like that. So like UI up and down. We'll go to project, project settings, and input map. And as you can see, we have a call, we have a thing called UI dial, right? Now, first, let me uh, delete that and show you how you guys can create your own. We'll just go over the action panel. We'll say UI dial and say add. And in the UI dial, we'll add a new key and then say E for now and say OK. We'll close. So we are checking if the UI dial is pressed. So this is basically Boolean. And if I go down here, and this is the main thing, we are first getting the note. We're saying that, hey, go to dialogue. Go to canvas layer and go to dialogue, which is this. Then we'll the dialogue node, which is that show text because it's basically show text. Now this is our this is our chapter and this is our dialogue. So go here and this is the chapter and this is the dialogue. Now if I now say save and then run, it looks like this. Now, you, 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 you are thinking that how can I change some things? Like, how can I change the dialogue? We'll click on the dialogue panel. Now you have everything that is needed. So you can change the rec if you want. You can change the uh, draw center. You can change the sound if you, if you like. Uh, this is a really high pitch sound. I don't know why. But uh, whatever. You can change it if you, if you want. Now, this is how to make a basic dialogue. Now in the next video I'm going to show you how you guys can create that if 
we are close to the NPC and if we hit a specific key, the dialog will pop up. So if you have any questions, make sure to put that in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.